All right. Hello, everyone. This is uh, my first video on YouTube as a uh, code enthusiast. Uh, I'll, today, I'll be showing you how the stopwatch program works. Um, it'll essentially give you the date and time uh, of when you start and finish, the, uh, the elapsed time, uh, the total, and there will also be a clear button to reset everything. Uh, this cell right here in H1 indicates what current row we're sitting at. So right now we're sitting at row 2, and then once we go through our first cycle, it'll go down to row 3, then 4, and 5, and so forth. So, just to show, here's how it works. First we're going to hit start, and it's toggled currently, so it's running right now. And uh, we can do whatever, say you're doing some kind of task that you just want to track. Uh, and say now we're finished, we're going to come up here and hit finish, hit finish, and there we go, boom, 13 seconds, and then it's logged right here. And at the end of each and every session, this total is going to keep amounting. So say we want to go again, so you do whatever, uh, get work done, then you hit finish again, there's 5 seconds, now we're at 18 seconds. And now we're, we're on uh, uh, our fourth row. So one, two, three, four, or rather one, two, three, and then four right here. Okay, now as to how this actually works, this was completely written in VBA code. Um, so we're going to go up here to view code under the developer tab, and we're gonna start breaking it down. So here we have the private sub for the start button, which is this right here. And uh, we're starting it off with an if button and this toggle button one is referencing the start button itself. Uh, this is the ID for it. So if toggle button one is true, then, and then we're gonna start running this chunk of code right underneath. Uh, if cells range H1, 2, so H1 is right here, and then we're gonna go to the second column, so right here, two, uh, and then uh, that is actually referencing this whole column right here like this. So if that is, this is the sign for is not. So if it isn't empty and cells range H13, so this, this whole uh, column is now being referenced, is empty, then go to M1. So it's just gonna skip everything and just come here and end the sub and then restart if need be. Uh, next we have range H1 equals range H1 plus one. This is just gonna, this is the mechanism that's gonna be keeping our rows going down by one, like this, 10, 11, 12. It's gonna be adding one each time and we're gonna keep going down by one each time. Uh, now we have cells range H1, uh, one equals date. Uh, date is a built-in uh, function into VBA, so it, under, it understands when you write date. We're essentially telling it that range H11, so H11, uh, this column here, uh, once again, is going to be for the dates. This is where all the dates are going to be listed. And then cells range H12, which is the time. Time is also a function that VBA recognizes. Uh, it'll it'll uh, store all the times right here. This is where all the times will go. Uh, and then coming down to the toggle button one again, not enabled equals false. This is when uh, our work is done, that's when it'll record everything and it'll end. So now, uh, let's just run it right now and then come up here to finish. Uh, so now in the finish sub, we have cells range one H, uh, yeah, cells range H13 equals time. Um, right, okay, so H1 is right here. Then we're going to go here, this is the finish time, right here. It's referencing this column right here. So I hit finish, boom, this is the finish time. Uh, and then cells range H14, uh, which is the total length right here. Now it's going to start calculating the total elapsed time for each fun uh, for each run that you make. Um, uh, and to get the elapsed time, you're just gonna take your start time, which is uh, H13 uh, uh, right here your finish time subtracted from H12 right here, which is your start time. And you'll get your elapsed time in each cell right here next to it. Um, now to get the total amount of time from each of these sessions, we have to go to cells 25. Cells 25 is just second row right here, fifth column, three, four, five right here. So it's referencing this cell right here in particular. 
cells 2, 5 equals cells 2, 5, so this is originally just going to be 0, it's nothing, plus uh, range H14, which is this column right here. It's adding everything that gets thrown into this column. So uh, every time you make a new cycle run through with the stopwatch, it'll collect all the data from here and chuck it into here to add. Um, then the toggle button 1.value equals false, that is the start button. Toggle button 1 is the start button, that will be false when the finish function is running. And for this toggle button 1.enabled equals true line, uh, this is just setting it back uh, up to uh, the enabled state for the button. So see for example right now this is enabled, we can press it. So once we press it, boom, it is now toggled. Uh, I'm clicking it right now, I can't bring it back up, I can't mess with it until I finish. So right now it's disabled. Once I hit finish, it comes back to the enabled state. That's essentially what this line is doing right here. It's setting it back up so that we can click it again after we hit finish. And uh, now uh, onto the last button, the easiest button, the clear. Uh, we're gonna set a quick variable for range H1 to clear. Uh, that's just this right here, the tracker for the rows. Um, and then range A3 through D, as well as plus uh, the as well as the variable we made here, which is H1 essentially. Dot clear content. So this is just going to clear everything from uh, right here to here and down like this. Uh, and then it's we're also going to be clearing range E2, uh, which is the total right here. This is just going to get deleted. The total elapsed time from all of our cycles. And lastly, we're going to be setting H1 back to 2, which is what this line here is doing right here. It'll just set whatever this is to 2, so say we give it like all the way up to 9. Clear, back to 2. And uh, that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you guys next time with a, with a new program to dig into.